You have channels today on YouTube who uh, who like to put others on blast about their false teaching. And I can get it for some people who they call out, if not all of them, are false teachers. I get it. They are. But my thing is the bullier. You know, right now, I, I, I feel that I need to attack the bully, the, the, the people who are blasting uh, the false teachers. You have uh, a channel out there. Uh, that goes by the name Smart Christian, <clears throat> who who's to the point he's very comfortable with putting other false teachers on blast. Uh, this guy is definitely full of self righteousness and shenanigans. The reason why I'm talking about him is because I'm tired of him being misled by his own wisdom, being misled by Satan and if no one is going to do it, then I'll be the one to call him out so he could be corrected. Not only be corrected, but be corrected by the true calling. The true calling. Like I say, I, 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 could, I can agree with, you know, most of the people who we put on blast. He's not the only one doing this. But I'm calling Smart Christian out because <clears throat> he's not teaching truth either. It's the same guy who's uh, going around saying that you can't lose your salvation. The true calling ones can't lose their salvation, which is a lie. Uh, he, he believes in self-teaching. Uh, he believes in always pulling up Greek teachings which most people may not understand and even with the self-knowledge that's going on with him he can't even really break it down for people to understand I understand you may need to you know uh, speak you know certain biblical words in Greek and uh, what else Latin stuff like that but he over he overkills it you know so he does that to show that he's a smart Christian Right? That's the name of his channel. And I think he's wicked with this uh, characteristic of himself. You know, the, 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 the fruits of the Holy Spirit is, you know, it's, 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 that's not one of them. I'm going to just say that. You, you're working the works of flesh. The works of flesh is of Satan. And self-righteousness is one of those characteristics. That's not part of the, the uh, fruits of the Holy Spirit. So just by calling yourself smart is kind of worldly. You, you're not called by God, by God to be smart. That's not what this is all about, people. Calling yourself smart. That's not going to get you into the kingdom. That's not going to get you to receive a crown. That's not going to get you to uh, to be revealed of the truth of the gospel. The good news, which is the kingdom of God. And as I'm hearing through this guy, Chino, he don't even teach the kingdom of God. Huh? People, you have to wake up. People use big words. Uh, they 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 always throw in this philosophy crap, uh, theology nonsense, and worldly myths nonsense, and calling themselves smart Christians and talking in Greek, Latin, and all this. They are here to fool the sheep. They are here to fool the unwise. They are not true Christians, people. God's chosen ones do not teach in that matter. And like I said, you know, we are here also to correct, you know, the, uh, the unbelievers and the false teachers. We are here to do that as well. 
But when you overkill it, when you overdo it, you're basically a bully. You're basically a blaster. Pointing fingers at everybody because you so smart that you don't have no flaws. I can name uh, a lot of people who does this on YouTube. And when I listen to them, they have no knowledge themselves of the true gospel. These folk, same folk, the bullies who I'm, who I'm attacking, they have no knowledge on what it is to be born again. They don't have no knowledge on what the kingdom of God is. Which, that's what God's chosen ones are here to teach people. When you are called, you are called for God's purpose, not your own. When you are called, you don't give yourself a name. When you are called, you are not called to become more smart than the next dummy in your own ways. When you are called, you are given. You are given by God. His wisdom, His wisdom, not your own. His wisdom. And when you're giving God's wisdom, you teach God's truth. That's how you can see and hear the difference from a true Christian. A true Christian is led by God, not by himself, not by Satan. A true Christian is not bullying other false Christians or other Christians out there. A bully is of Satan. And what they does is give other people the satisfaction of picking on other people. When you click on these channels and the first thing you see is about somebody about to call another person out, you click on it for the entertainment on what they're about to blast them out on. You yourselves who click on these channels, you're not seeking the truth either. You're, you're, you're not looking for the true gospel. You're giving these people their views. You're giving these people their subscriptions. You're, you're entertaining. You're cheerleading on the shenanigan of these false teachers out there. That's why they keep doing it. That's why they keep doing it. You got others who's willing to put them on blast, but they don't even know the gospel either. They don't even know the truth. So I, I see this. I see this. They may mean well by trying to, you know, put them on blast as well. They may mean well. But before you could put anybody on blast, people, what is your purpose? Because we're talking about Christians, right? We're not talking about entertainers out there, the rappers, the singers, because anybody could talk about them. I'm talking about Christians. If a Christian is going to put another so-called Christian on blast, you as a Christian better know why you're doing it. And you better teach at the same time putting another Christian on blast. People, we need to be teaching the kingdom of God. If you don't know the kingdom of God, then get on your knees and repent to God. And ask God in prayer through Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and ask God. For his wisdom, knowledge, understanding the true revelation of his word today. And you shall receive it. In his timing, according to God's will, not your own. Be patient. <laughs> Have self-control. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, those right there, those characteristics are part of the first, uh, 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 are part of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Huh? Just wait on them. Because you know your heart. You cannot put anybody on blast as a, quote, Christian if you don't know the truth. 
Because see, he all we doing is just constantly blasting each other. You know, all we doing is entertaining each other with foolishness, foolery. We gossiping. We 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 nitpicking. We bullying. We talking about everybody other than what we supposed to be talking about as Christians. God don't like that. You gonna teach in righteousness. Teach in righteousness. Don't teach in so-called righteousness. Huh? So what would be your point of, of so-called putting another Christian on blast? Is my question. What is your point of doing that? When you do that, then what else? Then what else you is to do? Okay, you putting somebody on blast. You talking about how they're teaching and how they're false leading and all that. Then what is your point by the end of discussion? What is your point? What is your viewers learning from you? What? How to how to call somebody out? How to speak in Greek? Huh? How to you know how to gain viewers? What is your point by the end of the day with these type of, of videos? My question is to a smart Christian. <laughs> Do you know the true meaning of how to be born again? My question to smart Christian. What is the kingdom of God? Smart Christian. Huh? Huh? No, I don't want your opinion. I want the truth. Let's get it together. Let's stop entertaining these fake teachers out there. These fake Christian teachers out there. But if you are into, you know, if you are interested in listening to all this shenanigan when, you know, these channels out here is putting other people on blast and, oh, I can go on with the list. You know, if that entertains you, then, hey, you know, kudos to you. If you don't specifically want to know the kingdom of God, if you don't want to get saved, you don't want to receive salvation, you don't want to repent, and that's what you feed off onto, then that's your choice. I get it. That's, hey, look, and, you know, I guess that's different then. You know, look, I don't want to receive. I just want to hear what the, what the gossip is about. Then, yeah, that would be your reason to click on these channels. But if you are trying to get saved, if you are, you know, looking to uh, uh, having a heart to repent to Yahweh, if you are seeking salvation, if you want to know what the true meaning of being born again is, their channel is not it. They're not going to teach you that because they don't know themselves. You have to know why our reasons of being here on this earth is for you, if you don't know your purpose of being here you have a long way to go you can't teach nothing if you don't know the purpose of why human beings are here on earth right now what is the purpose of us being here? If you don't know the true answer to that, you are missing it. And you cannot teach as a Christian. You cannot teach as a Christian if you don't know the true meaning of being called. If you don't know the true meaning of God's purpose for us. It's easy to talk about another person. It's easy to call somebody out. It's easy to bully somebody else. It's easy to think you better and think you smarter than the next person. That's easy. But see, the hard part is gaining life through Yeshua HaMashiach from Father. That's the hard part. Because guess what? The vast majority is going to miss it. The vast majority who are called spiritually ignorant, the spiritual ignorant, they are not going to be part of the first resurrection. So ask yourselves, are you going to be part of that vast majority who's not going to be part of the first resurrection? Those are the ones who are going to receive their crown at Christ's coming. See, you got to be ready. 
You have to be ready in order to receive the crown of life. That's the first resurrection group. You got all these channels out here, smart Christian. You know, I could leave a whole link down there of people who supposed to be so smart. But don't teach the truth because they don't know themselves. And when you try to teach and tell them the truth, they want to talk over you. They want to shun off what you're saying. What you're saying is impossible. How you know and they don't know. That's how they're going to come at you. That's called cognitive dissonance. Oh, you ain't got no views. You ain't got high sus subscribers. You don't know. <laughs> they left that Yeshua when he was riding on a donkey. <laughs> they heard about Paul's teaching. Say he was a powerful teacher, but when he showed his face to teach in person, they shone him off because he didn't look like the way they thought he would look as a great teacher. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what this world seeks. If you don't look like you should be smart, they not gonna hear the truth. If you don't bring yourself upon worldly looks and, and ways, they're not going to think that you are called or you don't have the truth in. That's how the Pharisees judge Yeshua. <laughs> and it's, 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 see, see, the Pharisees, they were the lawmakers. They were smart people of the world <laughs> who thought they knew the gospel. Huh? See, you got to know the truth, people, and quit thinking you know. Listen to the good news through God's called ones, the true chosen one, the true church. Listen, and you shall receive the truth. The shenanigan got to stop. The bullies, that's who I'm attacking, the bullies. Geno Janings. True Christian, smart, well, not true Christian, no, 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 smart Christian, him. And like I said, I can go on. Your name may not come off top right now, but I'm going to show, you know, the pictures you know, throughout the video. If your picture's up there, you the bully. If your picture's on this video, you are the bully, and you is who I'm attacking. Because I bet, I bet, I bet money. Huh? I bet money. Neither one of these, neither one of those, know the true gospel. Neither one of those know how it is to be born again. You can't teach it because you don't know. If you knew, you would be teaching it. Because it's a mystery. <laughs> if you knew about the true kingdom of God, you would be teaching it. Because it's a mystery. Oh, how glad and proud you would be teaching it once it's revealed to you. That's true revelation. When the true mystery of God's word is revealed to you, you will be teaching it, not withholding it, talking about worldly shenanigan. Because you want views. That's what you're afraid of, probably. You don't even want the truth. Because you feel you're going to lose them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to lose your subscribers. You're going to lose your viewers when you talk the truth of God. That's what happens. When you teach the truth, you're going to lose the world. When he pull you out, when he draw you away from the world, you are now part of the kingdom. You are an enemy to the world. And the world is an enemy to you. That's how they go. True, uh, uh, smart Christians. That's how they go. So since you don't want to lose your friends or the world, then you can't gain the wisdom of God. If you want to hold on to this world, that means you're holding on to Egypt, which is sin. See, I'm not going to just put you on blast and talk about you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach at the same time. Huh? I'm going to teach, meaning I'm going to help you at the same time. 
That's what God said do. Amen. 